It's time to take the first batch out. They're looking golden deliciousness. Not bad. Give me one moment. You can uh, look at my tea towels and my lovely lighting. Although you might want, no, you can't see that one. I can't remember which one of you it was. Somebody gave me this little monkey. Can you see it? And I had told them I put it up there and it's been up there ever since. So see, I don't lie. All right, we need to let these babies chill for just a second on the oven top. We've got our good Cafalon. I'm so tired, I can't even want to flipping tools, all I can think of. Like a spatula, spatula. Okay, and then I'm going to put it down on to a, a cooling rack. So let's go into the salon. Hi kids, I'm gonna have a bigger belly. I'm gonna have a bigger belly. I'm excited, aren't you? Anyway, here's the first cookie. Golden brown goodness. So make sure an adult is helping with you with this. Don't do this by yourself. Uh, as you can see, I'm wearing like Moon Man gloves that Wayne's mom gave him. And I think these were the greatest inventions ever made. And so we've already got 12 cookies done. And if you get two, let me show you, they get kind of stuck together. They want to be twins like this. I just use my spatula. Oh, they're not twins anymore. And get them on that cooling rack. I've got another group that wanted to be twins. And that is why, like I said, due to my smaller uh, baking pan and my cooling rack is technically for cakes because I generally bake more cakes than cookies since I've moved to France. Um, but, oh, they're perfect. It, they came out perfect golden brown. Oh. We rule! And, so you just scoop them on up. I'll put one over here. We don't need the queen. And flip that one there. Okay. And I usually leave this here because I'm going to have to flip it around anyway. Should we tell them? When they cool off in a few minutes, you may sample one of the cookies, but you must come into the kitchen and give your review. Right. Okay. All right. Watch your, your Cure movie band. I never liked The Cure much. Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me was a good album, but The Cure was... Your parents will know them. I mean, I'm not English, I'm American. But I do like English bands. Rolling Stones are my favorite band. Do I have any bands up in here? Boom, Rolling Stones. Fridge Magnet. What else? Of course, you know I love cats. There's a picture of me and my dad when I was really young. Never see that anywhere else. And I think that's all you need to see on my frigo. The rest of it's just bands and uh, drawings that our friends, children made me because as you know, I collect kids art. So this piece of papier cuisson, 
I don't want to reuse it, so uh, that's not being wasteful. Actually, <laughs> I just did a wasteful thing, didn't I? I think you can go in, recycle. And it can. That shows how tired I am. You guys know how I am about recycling. Now, because I've touched trash, I'm going to wash my hands. And I'm fairly certain after this last one, I forgot I have an apron on. I can dry my hands on that. After this next batch, I mean, I'll have a few left over. But I think we can say our adieus after this next batch because you'll see the cookies fully baked and formed and all that good stuff. Um, and your poor, tired, frail teacher who now has two hours of French tomorrow and hasn't started her homework because she's been helping you with your homework all week has to get up early and <sighs> when did they give me open Starbucks? I need my Starbucks on Saturday to study my French. Oh, sounds terrible. I sound like a horrible person and I'm a person that's not allowed to go outside. So it's just, shh. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing that I did before, four across, because I think the recipe states well, we already have 12 cookies, so we do four across times three, four times three is another 12, with 12 and 12 is 24. And depending on how big or small you roll your cookie dough balls, uh, you can end up with, and how you place them, if you have a bigger rack, you might have smaller ones, and you might be able to fit six or eight on one. Uh, but I'm shooting, I think, for 36 cookies. I'm thinking large. That's just because I am deliriously tired. Okay. One more row. So after this row, or after this one is done, baking, and I'm going to let you know, like I said, everyone's oven's different, and if you're Nezrin, you have the robot to do it for you, so just throw it all in there, and uh, take a picture of the robot spitting out, here are your cookies, Nezrin Khalil, they are ready for you, and then get me one for my birthday, thank you very much. Okay. I think we have a cookie tester coming in. No? He's just wandering around waiting for me to finish so he can go to bed. Because he's tired as well. Okay, so after this next batch, I think we'll call it quits for the night. Okay, hold on. We do have a cookie tester. Okay, let me show you. This is what aprons were made for. Here's the last batch I'm going to do with you for the night, because I think you get the clue. There we go, 12 more. I definitely have enough, enough batter to make uh, 12 more cookies, right? So I'm going to put my cookie sheet in, put it in based on your oven settings, and um, I'm going to turn it over to our official cookie tester, uh, Wayne, and let's see what he has to say about uh, my handiwork. They are delicious! Happy holidays, kids! I'm going. Whoop. Well, it wasn't unentertaining, was it? We made sure that you guys had a very nice last of uh, day, school day, I hope. Are they really good, Wayne? Yeah. Okay, they're uh, nice and floofy. Not, are they too gooey? Okay. All right, guys. So we're going to wait for this for a minute. Uh, what 
What happened to the bow on this apron? Nobody told me. I look like the poor relations. See what this confinement has done to me? I just want to wear maquillage and high heels and dresses and do my hair and put some bows in there and dolls. Oops, did I just kick? Cycle back. So, I am uh, going to, is there anything to clean up? Is there anything else that needs to be cleaned up out there? He can't hear me, he's got headphones and his voodoo hat on. So, um, I'm gonna put it on pause and when I get that next batch out, we'll take a look at it. We will shine a light on it in the batch before that if somebody hasn't eaten them all. And that will be my cookie video to you for vacances. So I'll see you in a minute, okay?